squared minus 9x plus 14 minus, there's a dreaded separating subtract, 12x cubed plus 8x squared minus 1. Subtraction signs to deal with. Got that one there. Got that one there. So I go through. Get to change this. Negative seven x squared plus negative nine x plus fourteen. Oops. Minus twelve x cubed plus eight x squared plus negative one. So again, I just changed two subtraction signs. That one there, that one there. All right, separating subtraction now. So now we got to take the time to change that one too. And I won't rewrite the whole thing again, which will save you a little bit of space on your paper. So this is going to become plus. And again, it changes the signs of everything after it. So all these signs have to get changed. So right now, this is 12x cubed. It's got to become negative 12x cubed. Instead of 8x squared, negative 8x squared. And instead of negative 1, this becomes positive. Okay, so we're ready to write it vertically now. Right, now, first thing is the negative, and I'm not going to write the whole thing. I'm just going to line it up under here. Negative 12x cubed. Now, there is nothing else that matches up with an x cubed. So that's going to be out front all by itself. Again, it doesn't have a date to the prompt for you, okay? Right. That could be a girl. Poor little girl. <laughs> doesn't sound right. All right, <laughs> plus negative 8x squared plus negative 8x squared. Again, I lined it up with the other x squared thing. And then the last thing is plus 1. So notice there is no point old x thing here. 1 is going to be out here on the right all by itself. OK. So now we add up. So negative 12x cubed. Again, it's hanging out there all by itself. Negative 7x squared and negative 8x squared. If you add negative 7 and negative 8, you get negative 15. So negative 15x squared. Negative 9x, it's just going to come straight down. Nothing else you can do with that. And 14 and 1, of course, make 15. All right. Get two horizontal problems out of the way and then we're done. Yay. All right. Number five. 4x squared minus 9x minus 1 plus 7x squared plus 8x minus 3. 4x squared minus 9x minus 1 plus 7x squared plus 8x minus 3. All right, so we're lucky this one doesn't have separating subtraction, so that's going to save me at least a little bit of work. It does have subtraction signs, though. It's got this one here, this one here, this one here. So, rewrite. 4x squared plus negative 9x plus negative 1 plus 7x squared plus 8x plus negative 3. All right, now, this is the horizontal method. In the horizontal method, we don't take the time to write it out like this. You just now are going to go and gather the like terms. This is the one people make mistakes, though, because let's say there's x cubed over here, but there's no x cubed over here, or vice versa. There's nothing over here, but x cubed is over here by itself. People forget to include that sometimes because they're so busy matching up terms, they leave it off. Right? As long as you don't leave it off, you'll be OK. But more often than not, people leave things off. So 4x squared and 7x squared are like terms. So those two are going to get put together. 
eleven x squared. Negative nine x and eight x are going to be put together. That's negative one x. Negative one and negative three are going to put together, or negative four. And that's it. And it's the same thing we just did. We just don't take the time to write it this way. Now, I'm guessing most of you are going to do the horizontal method because you're looking at it and going, that's a lot less writing. That's fine. Just don't screw it up. I don't care what you do in homework. You want to go this way, you want to go, I don't care. Just don't screw it up. Get the right answers, and I'm thrilled. Prove me wrong. Prove that people don't screw it up. I'd love to see it. All right. Last one. Six. Five x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x minus, dreaded separating subtraction returns, 4x cubed minus 4x. Five 5x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x minus 4x cubed minus 4x. All right, so we got some subtraction signs to be dealt with here, so we got to go through and change those. 5x cubed plus 2x squared plus negative 3x minus 4x cubed plus negative 4x. All right, the separating subtraction now must be dealt with. Again, that's going to change this into plus. And everything right after it changes its sign. So instead of 4x cubed, this is negative 4x cubed. Instead of negative 4x, this is now positive 4x. Again, we're not changing the addition signs. We're just changing the sign on the number. All right, so 5x cubed and negative 4x cubed put together. That's 1x cubed. Earthquake must be on the roof. All right. <laughs> 2x squared. Now, 2x squared, notice, doesn't have a match. So 2x squared is just going to have to be 2x squared. And negative 3x and 4x make 1x. Wait, how do we get 